Adding a header and footer to your document can give it a more professional look. Let's add a header and footer, and then learn how to change the default page numbers in those areas of your document. First, click Header on the Insert tab. Scroll through the gallery, and select the one you like. Remember, you can always start with one, and modify it later. Let's choose Banded. Next, let's replace this text with the title of our document. With the header selected, we get the Header and Footer Tools Design tab. Here, we can change the design of the header. In our document, we don't really need to see the header on the first page. So, select Different First Page. Now the header we added doesn't start until the second page. On the second page, click Footer. Let's use Banded again, so the design uses the same theme as the header. The banded footer design contains page numbers, but some headers and footers don't. You can change how page numbers appear in a header and footer. Let's change the location of the page numbers in the footer. On the Header and Footer Tools Design tab, click Page Number, point to Bottom of Page, and then select Plane Number 1. See how the page number moved to the left? Now click Page Number again, point to Bottom of Page, and then select Plane Number 3. You might have noticed that the page number changed colors when it moved. To change to a color you want, first select the number. Then on the Home tab, select Font Color, and select the color you want. I'll pick blue. And here's another way to close the header and footer. Just double-click in the body of the document. Learn more at support.office.com.